U.S. President Donald Trump has rejected Russian President Vladimir Putin's proposal to allow Russian authorities to question U.S. citizens. Now, the offer was made during a summit between the two leaders, where, in return, Putin offered to allow American investigators access to 12 Russians who were indicted for meddling in the 2016 U.S. elections. For more on this and other news around the world, we turn to our Duaram at the News Center. So, Aram, yet another turnaround from U.S. President Donald Trump. That's why I said, during the Helsinki summit, Trump said Putin had made what he called an incredible offer, that idea that Trump was open to allowing Russian investigators to question U.S. citizens for unspecific crimes sparked outrage. Following bipartisan criticism, the White House said in a statement on Thursday that Trump now disagrees with Putin's offer. The day before, it said Trump was considering it. White House Press, uh, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders added that Washington hopes Putin will have the 12 Russians indicted for U.S. election meddling come to the U.S. to prove their innocence or guilt. The Russians reportedly want to question financier Bill Browder, a Putin critic who played a key part in the U.S. imposing sanctions on top Russian officials six years ago for corruption. Another person on Russia's radar is Michael McFaul, who was the U.S. ambassador to Moscow under Barack Obama and also a Putin critic. The Senate, meanwhile, unanimously approved a resolution in a 98-0 vote opposing Moscow's questioning of U.S. citizens. Also on Thursday, the White House said Trump directed his national security adviser, John Bolton, to invite Putin to Washington in the autumn.